So this is a uh, part three of the rendering technique series and we're going to have a look at blurry uh, reflections and refractions. So I set up this simple scene, a quick VFX text, I've got some like blue uh, objects falling from the sky and I've got some basic lighting as well, nothing special. So basically right now I've got my uh, render set to standard and uh, if we try and render this scene it's actually going to take a pretty long time to calculate and this material on a quick VFX uh, that's my layer here to activate uh, blurry reflections just simply go to the reflection tab on the material and then where it says blurriness just kind of increase that and uh, when it's a zero you don't have these like extra options activated but as soon as you go to 1% it starts using a different algorithm and uh, all these sampling and accuracy uh, options become available so and also uh, the more blurriness you add the longer the render time is going to take it's kind of strange but that's how it works so um, I've got some pretty high samples here, minimum 64 and maximum 128 and the accuracy is very high at 95% so uh, with the standard renderer this uh, takes quite a while to render and um, basically if you want to use blurry reflections it's best to use the physical renderer so go to renderer and uh, set the type to physical and um, We'll just set the sampling quality to low and I'm just going to hit render and as you can see straight away the render time has increased greatly and uh, also the physical render is a uh, more ideal for uh, situations with advanced reflection and refraction so I'm just going to set my uh, sampling quality to medium and uh, have a look at that and it's still much quicker than the standard render, even now. And obviously the higher uh, the sampling rate, uh, the less grain you're going to get. And as you can see, you can uh, already see the blurry reflections in the scene. And uh, in our settings here, uh, we can obviously increase all these uh, sampling subdivisions uh, reduce the shading error threshold, that's going to increase the uh, accuracy, reducing this. Well, I don't want to go too low. And obviously uh, these subdivisions here, uh, the blurriness subdivision is going to help uh, greatly if you increase that. And we don't actually need these here because we're not using a subsurface scattering. So I could actually set these to just one. And the blurry refraction pretty much works the same way, except uh, I'm going to create a new material here. I'm going to apply it to my uh, the quick part of my quick VFX, and I'm just going to delete this old material, and I'm going to activate transparency. So the way the transparency works is um, just reduce it slightly. If you activate a blurriness here it's pretty much the same deal as the um, reflection by the way when you use the physical render these options are grayed out because you basically control everything uh, here in the render settings panel so I'm just gonna increase refraction blurriness to maybe 30 percent and I'm gonna do a render region have a look and as you can see in this render here um, it's kind of like a frosted glass effect. You can see that blue ball kind of uh, behind the sea, but it's kind of diffused. The light's kind of scattered. So it's a very nice kind of subtle effect. And um, join me for part four in the next tutorial. And uh, thanks for watching.